Hello and uh, welcome to my talk for today. Uh, I trust you survived the Candlemas slash Groundhog Day snow event yesterday and are now all dug out. I spent a lot of time last night snow blowing and a little bit more time this morning uh, digging. But between those two events we watched a movie and it was called The Dig and is on Netflix. It tells the story of an archaeological excavation in Suffolk, England, which took place in the waning days of peace, just before the outbreak of World War II. An untrained but highly skilled archaeologist, Basil Brown, was invited by a landowner, Edith Pretty, to excavate some mounds on her land. It was known that they were not natural, but what were they? It was thought they might be burial sites for Viking leaders. As the dig progressed, the war clouds loomed, and it turned out that the site being excavated was indeed a grave. Inside were the delicate remains of a wooden ship and many metal objects, including a battle helmet. With the advent of war, the land had to be filled in and it was not fully dug until hostilities ceased. Though on the first day dig, it was decided that the, it was the grave of a Saxon leader, not a Viking. Post-war work revealed that the most likely occupant of the grave was a Saxon king known as Raidwald. The site contained many treasures. The 1939 discoveries were kept in a disused underground station in London for the duration. Today, the site is called Sutton Hoo, which means hill on a southern farmstead. I lived in Suffolk in the early 1980s on a street called Raidwall Drive. As a history teacher in the county, the Sutton Hoo story featured in our curriculum. We used it as a kind of detective adventure where students had to work out how the dig was done, who the occupant might be, and how it could be identified as Saxon, not Viking. On a small crowded island like Britain, in both rural and urban areas, there are stories to be discovered beneath the surface of the land. In London, for example, the level of the Roman streets is at least nine feet below today's streetscape. In the city of York a is a pizza hut and many other stores which stand on what was once the site of a great medieval abbey. It is remarkable that so much lies under people's feet, unknown until someone begins to dig. And Britain has a very short history compared to somewhere like Egypt. A movie like the dig, always reminds me of God's long perspective. God was there when Raidwald was placed in his ship. God's love has never been absent from creation. As we continue to pass through these difficult days, it helps me to remember that God is within and beyond time. Thank you very much for listening again today and I trust that you'll have a good week. God bless and stay safe.